listen to me. Okay, you need to get your own website, no matter what. Right now, that's what you need to do. You need to have your own website. You might not know anything about that, but you need to do it right now. You need to start making the steps to have your own domain, have your own VPS or server, and live. You know, the problem with the internet is that people nowadays, there are too many internet peasants and not enough internet landlords. It is so easy to be an internet landlord, to have your own domain, to be able to do things independently on the internet. But it's nuts that people are not doing it. It has never been easier than it has than it is right now. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you, if you don't know the first thing about setting up a website, let's talk about how easy it is, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to do things to set it up, but it has never been easier and it's never been more rewarding, okay? You can go right now, you can get a domain name, okay? Domain names, you they have a yearly fee. That yearly fee is basically the equivalent of a dollar a month, okay? You can... You can find that spare change on the floor, okay? Even if you don't know anything about starting a website, go ahead and get a domain name you like, okay? Uh, you know, I have uh, lukesmith.xyz. If you can't find a .com, .org, .net, .net that you like, I got a .xyz. There are a lot of Luke Smiths in the world. I found one. Um, there are so many different web, uh, you know, names to choose from. If you get one that hasn't been registered, it costs nothing. You just pay the fee for the year and you have your domain. Uh, if you have one that already exists, you got to buy it from them. Sometimes that costs a little bit, of, uh, but you know, you can usually get one that's not registered. Okay, here is the thing. All right, you get a domain name. And you don't have to know anything about it. Like that domain name, that domain name is not going to be more available in the future. Go ahead and get it, even if you don't know anything. And then you need something to host your internet, so your website on. Okay, that could mean I use a VPS. Okay, VPS, you rent a VPS. It is a server in a place that gets great internet, so you don't have to worry about, you know, serving it from your home computer or something and wasting your electricity and bandwidth. Um, I have a VPS, it costs, I don't know, like three and a half dollars a month or something like that. It's extremely cheap. And that plan, which is like the most basic plan, is plenty enough for me. I have three websites. I have, uh, on that VPS, I host three websites. I've had a web form in the past. Uh, I've had a mumble form or a mumble server in the past. I've dabbled with IRC, like a chat server. Uh, right now I have, uh, well, I have my own email server there. So I don't use Google or any of that g garbage. I don't use Gmail. I do it myself. Um, and uh, what's the other thing? Oh, I, and as you guys know, if you watch the channel, I started my own uh, search engine on my website, a, a Cirx instance. So that is fantastic, being able to do all of that stuff, and it costs me three and a half dollars a month. But even if you just have one website, it's worth it. I mean, if you don't, of course, there are free places you could host your website as well. You could go to NeoCities or GitLab or something like that. But still, I mean, the, the ideal, the idea is to be as independent as you can be on the internet. Okay, so you, there's so much you can do with it. It's so rewarding, and the the main thing is. It, you are not just doing yourself a favor, you're doing everyone else a favor. It is a social problem that we are over-reliant on social media right now. Because right now, I mean, the internet was not founded to be this place where there are only five sites and people don't in exist independently of these sites. They just all have profiles on these sites and they interact in Facebook or, or Instagram or Twitter or something like that. That's not how the internet was supposed to be. It was supposed to be you are your own landlord. It's supposed to be empowering but now people are just serfs, okay? They're, they are literally at the mercy of what Facebook will allow them to see or uh, what Twitter says is, uh, you know, according to their usage, content usage guidelines or something like that. And every year we see that that is getting more restricted and the people who use social media, I don't know if you can see this, you know, if you're ensconced in social media, but as someone who isn't, you just see people getting more and more brainwashed by these companies like they have so much control they promote so much fear among people who use them that it really literally has changed the way that a lot of people think and it's dangerous okay so it when you if you are independent on the internet okay that is an that is a asset to everyone else you are one less person that's contributing to that okay so i recommend you stop uh, stop using facebook just close it out right now there's no reason you could do that. The best day of my life was when I closed out all my vestigial uh, social media sites. Well, I never really had any, but you know, I, I remember closing my LinkedIn. That felt good. Oh wow, what a stupid site that is! What an absolutely worthless site. Um, but close out all your social media. 
have your own existence on the, the, inter internet, the internet. And even if you want something like, uh, uh, here's the thing, I, I was gonna do a video on RSS. Do you know what RSS is? It's a way of getting a social media feed without a social media site. That's actually, you know, it was event invented around I want to say the year 2000 and it's been really popular since then but it used to be what you could do is you could just go to a page you like it had an RSS feed that is updated whenever that page is changed and you get an update when uh, from that RSS feed when you know there's an update okay or um, you get a notification when that's updated that is how I actually subscribe to things on the internet I don't even subscribe to people on YouTube I don't follow people on github I don't do any of these sites that I you know, sort of use, um, I, I only use them through RSS. It's the only way to get unfiltered content, okay? And that's how the internet was supposed to be. And if you are still using social media sites, you know, as your, your primary mode of communication, if you're not using your own independent system, you're sort of feeding into that, okay? And, you know, I, as I said, I put up YouTube videos because this is a platform that gets a lot of traffic. There's a lot of discoverability. I would never use it as a normal user, okay? Do not rely on YouTube subscriptions to get your subscriptions. Don't do any of that. Ideally, when I can have, uh, when I have the, I guess, the bandwidth uh, capabilities, I'd like to just have videos on my own website, frankly. I might look at, I don't know, I, I really want to end up doing something like that. But um, anyway, so that's it. That's about it. Get your own website. I'm serious. Get one now. I'll put links to the ones that I use um, uh, and maybe some other recommendations. Just do it. Even if you don't know what you're doing, even if it'll be frustrating if you're trying to figure out things, it's worth it. I put up videos on st about stuff like this on my channel. Uh, I'll probably do some more soon. Uh, so anyway, that's about it.